Hi, All I everyone. can think about is this episode that I just watched. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Great. Welcome back to Ned's Declassified Podcast mm-hmm. Survival Bible Guide. guide. Yeah. Um, we're loving your guys' comments. We're really? loving your feedback. Yeah. Uh, it's really fun to see you guys engage with this. Um, I know we're having fun making it. So oh, much yeah. fun. And it's so cool like seeing all your comments out there engaging with it <laughs> as well. So thanks for the follows, like, subscribe, shares. Uh, yeah. Patrons, we love you. Yeah. Patrons, we love you. And Thank you. So and we're having a good time over there, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we do. We create like <laughs> that accent <laughs> over there, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we create Great. like a lot of bonus content for our Patreon, and we do uh, these uh, pretty unhinged live stream uh, Q and A's. Oh, so yeah. uh, if yeah. you want some of that in your life, I, I think it's only five dollars at this point. Yeah, we got. Yeah. We got to really. Yeah. Uh, we we got to. We got to yeah. start. We got to price that up. Five dollars. You're getting a lot, guys. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the economy's a little rough here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, all right. We'll let right. you have it. We'll okay. let you have it. We'll let you have it. <laughs> um, the episode we are covering today mm-hmm. is talent shows. Talent shows. Ooh, season one episode. I didn't write it down. Um, uh, but it's talent shows. So many. One of my favorites. People. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Jim I'll run down the episode. Meshack Wright. Uh, Meshack Taylor. Right. Taylor, yeah. who played Mr. Wright. Um, he holds the talent show and yeah. historically holds a very classical yeah. reined in woodwinds and classic talents uh-huh. um the gang decides he's conservative he's sure. conservative mm-hmm. it's a conservative talent show and the gang decides there's a lot of kids out there talent. who have weird talents that Mr. Wright doesn't allow we're going to throw yeah. the alternative talent the alternative show talent at show. the so same cool. time yeah. We're gonna one p.m. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna liberate the freaks, you yeah, know. Yes. Yeah. Um. No kink shaming at Talent Palooza. No. All right. Mm. All talents are welcome. So, uh, James K. Polk. It turns out our middle school is a circus, and everyone has some strange talent. Dude, in the cafeteria, all the different people. Some guys riding around on a unicycle. <laughs> exactly. You never see that in any it, of the other episodes. But, it, yeah. Exactly. Someone's juggling unicycle. Uh-huh. Like James K. Polk becomes a circus. Uh, the gang, Ned, Moe's, and Cookie decide to throw the alternative talent show that that allows room for that. Um, but everyone in the school is afraid to go to it because um, they'll get in trouble with Mr. Yeah, right. He makes it mandatory. He makes it mandatory. So Cookie has to kind of convince everyone to head over. Everyone has a great time at Talent Palooza. Mr. Right comes in and should be mad um, because they've done this unsanctioned school event. Mm-hmm. To thwart him, but he sees how much fun the, the students are having, yeah. and that there's some other talents out there. Yeah. And it's really like it's a nice little episode. It's wrapped yeah. up well. It's kind of a beautiful little lesson of like, yeah. you know, letting people have different unconventional talents and yeah. supporting that and celebrating that. And um, I laughed. I cried. It was lovely. Yeah. Mm, yes, I love the idea of the alternative talent show and just redefining what that word is from the traditional sense. Exactly. And that is, re- I think, really important to like really value all the gifts and perspectives that people yeah. have is to, yeah, to recognize Tra- Tradition that. can be great to kind of bring people back to something, you know, maintain culture and stuff like that. But sometimes you do have to, you know, elevate the culture, try new things, you know, and listen to these youngsters that are coming up. Like Gen Z has some pretty solid... I did. Some of it I can't get with, you know, mm-hmm. but, but, you mm-hmm. know, some, there's some stuff that we can learn cross generationally. Said every old man ever. I'm an old man. The next generation that comes up, some of it I just can't get I down can't, with. I can't get with that. I can't get jiggy with that. This, this hippie rock and roll music, I can't yeah. get with it. <laughs> my hips don't swing that way. Yeah. Oh um, this episode was the first episode we see one bite. Oh, Landon. yeah, Landon. That's my homie, too. He lives in Long Beach now. So, so I also forgot. Huh? I forgot. This this episode reminded me. We have two one bites. Two one bites, yeah. I forgot this. The first this. homie Wait, was like the fir- No, but the first homie is Landon because this is the first time we see him. We haven't seen other one bite yet. <gasps> I know. What? So we have we have Landon one bite. You see him in this talent show episode briefly. It's talking yeah, about mm-hmm. people who have Sitting weird talents. With the, and and he's he eats a whole sandwich. He was the first one? Yes, yeah. but then there's a episode with Ned and like Ham, and there's this other actor who's, hey, can I have one bite? Yeah. And he's like a shark, but then Landon's yeah. been in it a bunch, so I don't remember how this plays out. 
I'm Wait, so what confused. episode was the Hey Can I Have One Bite? Because now I'm interested. I, was I don't know. We haven't gotten to it yet. Because Landon's name was Stu, right? He was cast as Stu. Yes. Then he became One Bite? No, so no. maybe he was first One Bite and right. then becomes another Stu. character. After this guy, I wonder why. That, why? That's I don't know. So weird. I don't know. They just I, I'm, I'm definitely them. getting Timmy Two Toot mixed up with the oh, with the other no, One Bite. I don't know. Were they? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I also forgot about so in this talent show episode we see we see two um, twin oboe girls twins. playing the them. oboe on yeah. stage. They they're known as the oboe they twins. So cool. They came back a few times throughout the series. I kind of forgot they existed, but these these girls uh, I forget their last. It was Addison and the oboe twins. They yeah. they were these guest star like they would only be on vi like a couple times a season, but they had the wildest energy. And would come on and just like they were yeah. amazing. They were so much fun and so kind of kooky crazy in a fun way. I uh, hung out with them one time. They're from the OC that, and I like went and like partied with them in Newport one time. Like they were like lacrosse, like geez, I think they were something great at like that. Yeah, sport. <laughs> one of my favorite <laughs> moments from the talent show episode is Backpack Boy. The oh. kid with the large backpack puts oh. Claire Sawyer, future <laughs> lawyer. He's doing a magic show at the at the talent show, and they're doing this big like magic effect. And she's the magician's assistant. He puts her in the backpack and just murders her. It just breaks yeah. every bone in her body. Just yeah. yeets her across the and room. And they never showed her. Right? No, they show her oh, at, the at the end coming out, and she's all upset and gotcha. is like, "I'm gonna sue the backpack off that boy." Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. That was that made me laugh so hard. Yeah. Like him just. Yeeting her across the room. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so funny. They were the Hoover twins. The Hoover twins. Addison and Alex. Thank Hoover. you. Alex and Addison, the Hoover twins. Yeah. Oboe twins, Hoover twins. Shout out Hoover twins. Uh, we had a lot of fun Hoover? with you on set. They really brought the energy. Yeah. You know, it's tricky when you come into a cast that you're not a, a, a part, like a main part of. Like they, yeah. they would pop in. The yeah, rest yeah. of us are super close because we're there all the time. Um, this goes for like any set. Anytime you're a guest star on something, it can be weird coming on to something that's fully established and the the clicks and everyone's all together. Mm -hmm. And what I loved about them is they just came in like, let's go. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like when people aren't like yeah. hesitant, yeah. you know? What other cool uh, talents were going on? Elisa Zemo in that episode, Rachel Sibner. She and I remember she had her burps down. I remember her just practicing like the because she was doing that's, like a burp. That's right. Alphabet. Lisa Zemo's talent yeah. is is sing burping, burping, burping the alphabet. Yeah, she yeah. She, and she, she actually really, got her burps down. She was really practicing those burps, man. She was dedicated. Stop. Like the dedicated. Me can, out. can you burp on spot? <laughs> nice. Nice. You like that, I listeners? Used to be better, I almost choked. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel just die. throws up. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Uh oh. So I was shooting this movie. Um, like I can burp on command. That's like normal, right? Like you just breathe in some air, you burp it out. Mm -hmm. Andrew Bachelor, King Batch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He can vomit on command. Oh, we just take your. No, no. Uh oh, no hands. No hands. He can make himself. Throw up. Anyone can, you can make yourself gag with your finger. No, no. No hands can make himself throw up. So we have this scene. Uh, I'm, I'm like this like douchey frat guy. He's he's uh, pledging the frat. Uh, we go down into this, this basement and I'm hazing him. We have this like, <laughs> we have this disgusting hot tub in the basement of the frat that like a frat brother died in and we never clean it out of his memory. Like, so it's this disgusting hot tub and Batch and the director... Batch told the director, hey, like, I can throw up on command. Like, should I do it? And they were like, and he was like, yes, and don't tell Devin. So as we're filming the scene, Batch gagging, like pretending like he's gagging from the smell of this hot tub, and it actually did smell disgusting. He starts vomiting. And I didn't know it was going to happen. And he's throwing up for real. Um, you always talk about, like, seeing yourself laugh in scenes. I can see myself in the edit of that scene, like, like, I still stay in the scene, which is good. It works, but I laugh through the scene of like, God damn, Dang. dude. Dedicated. I think I say like, chill out or like, <laughs> relax. Like, God damn. Because <laughs> I was so shocked. Like, he's throwing up in front of me for real. Yeah, yeah. I'm Wild. Sure that's crazy. No wait, hands. Wait, 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 wait. Now, is this like mostly bile? Is it like yeah. chunky? Was it projectile? Though? Projectile. Wow. Liquid. <laughs> Did he like drink a bunch of liquid before? He drank a bunch oh, of liquid oh, before. Oh, it was I've wild. Never thought to try that. I don't. Think no, I don't want to try it. Yeah, no. Are you kidding? 
That would be awful. No, oh, I would never. Getting, I'd love to try. I would be so movie. scared. Yeah, I don't. Oof, know. Wow, it, that's a talent. It, that's a talent. That is an alternative Good talent. Good on you. Good Damn, on I can't lie, guys. In. I think I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna try. <laughs> Daniel's I'm gonna, gonna teach be trying myself this. to barf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. It's water, you know, but like throwing up kind of hurts though, bro. Oh, like, especially the that, the acid. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. not good. Bad. Yeah, you yeah. Coat that with a lot of water. Yeah, that was wild. If you at home have not seen that movie, I think I don't even think it's still on Netflix. I don't know where you can find it. It's called Where's the Money, and you'll just see this one scene. You'll know what I'm talking about. That's, he pukes dedicated. for real, and you'll see my real Devin face, sort of holding it together in the scene. But you'll see me like yeah. laughing. Like that's my real response. It's wow. like, God damn, what am I looking at? And he just went, he went and brushed his teeth afterwards, or he just kept it. He just made out with me after. Damn. Oh. You know? Dedication. Yeah. Both, both his parts. Makes sense. Good yeah. job, guys. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. <laughs> you seen that, man? He's hot. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Uh, that was a fun one. So ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. So burping on command's normal. Okay. Vomiting on command. So we would have, we would have, he would have been in that alternative talent show for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Wright would have shut mm-hmm. it down. Yeah. Right then. Mm-hmm. Right then like, there. nope, none of that. Who, who, yeah. Who else went up? Mose was a tapper. Oh, yeah. She loved her little yeah. tap. And you had that red thing on. I remember that was that was, that that was nice. actually precious. Yeah, oh, precious, didn't they yeah. use they? I forgot they used that clip of you tapping in the intro. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yep. When that, that, yep. They show you mm-hmm. like doing this funny. <laughs> did you tap? No. Ever in your life? Never. Cool. Not a day in my life. Cool. Yeah. Uh, it was really cool to put those tap. This was like the first time I ever t- tried tap shoes on. I was like, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't really do much with them. <laughs> Um, but, but then I do you love and you work a lathe. that Moe's, you know, mm. goes back to her roots. She finds something that's not so like, you know, shiny and glitzy and whatever. It's just what she likes to do, right? And she can be a very good craftsman. And she works this lathe, this, 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 this machine, you know, this, this, whatever. And she creates and Art. I love that. Yes. It's very I, Moe's. I love the through line of Moe's being like incredible at Woodshop. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. a great, it's just great. Yeah. yeah. It's just a great storyline. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Neds was kind of always doing that, was breaking, like, even before this was a thing, like, breaking gender norms mm-hmm. on purpose. Yeah. Like, I think Scott Fellows had an intuition of that, of just like, mm-hmm. hey, a girl can be good at woodshop. Like, that's real. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, guys, these things. Uh, the, but, bully, like the bully class, can be good at sewing. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, guys, these mm-hmm. things, like, it's all good, man. Yeah. Have, if you have a passion for it, do it. Yeah. Yeah, and there was just a simple. There was no like meaning attached. Like it was just, it just happened. Yeah. Like yeah. I kind of feel like now there's a lot of things that need to be prefixed or suffixed when you're trying to make any kind of a point, and it takes a little bit of the innocence away because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you're of how much on. qualification that it needs. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 Ned did it in this be. way that was just like showing yep. what's what's cool, funny, yep. okay. Like, if it's if all you want to open a door underneath that where you might have some more stuff, that's fine. But like yeah. here it is on the surface. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I love Moz being good at, good at wood. Mm, good at wood, Good at the baby. wood. Good at wood. Wait, and then good what was wood. the conclusion? Because I did I did watch like the first like half or so of this episode. But then what what is the conclusion? Well, so like uh, Mr. Wright comes in and uh, he wants to punish everyone, but then he no- looks around and everyone's having a great excited, time yeah. and cheering for people on stage. And he realizes, oh, I've been a little too rigid with things. Like I need to let people, like mm-hmm. he says, he, he lets Ned be like, hey, maybe you can help me choose the talent for next year's oh. talent show. Yeah, like yeah. he's like, I should be punishing you, but this is great. I see that maybe I've shut kids down. And yeah, yeah, it was it was a very wholesome Ned's episode. Yeah. Very wholesome. They also they always let the teachers learn and grow. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah that's exactly. Right, that's right, yeah. It was always a reciprocal yep. relationship yep. on Ned's, which yeah. does mirror life. Yeah, I mean yeah. It, it. Hopefully, yeah. you know, and it's you know, it's yeah. best. And it made it made the show resonate with kids a little bit more because I'm sure there were a lot of time, in, times in all of our lives where we're like, I mean, I don't have to learn from this lesson. Maybe it's the adults around me who need to learn. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was cool. It's true. Hundred. There was another line in there. Uh, Cookie kept going around to the kids while they were at the original talent show. Uh, boring talent show. And he's like, pretty lame talent show. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like handing the little flyer for them to go to the alternative talent show. And then by the end of it, Cookie's managed to get everybody out of the lame talent show. And then uh, the last person there is Mr. Wright. But Cookie doesn't kind of look because he's just on his thing. He's like... Pretty lame talent show. <laughs> and he looks over, and uh, Mr. Wright looks at him. He's like, oh, wrong number. Uh, bye. <laughs> and he takes off. It's like, what? Wrong number. 
That was a great bit. Yeah. Silly. I I remember as I started watching it, like, and you started the first pretty lame talent show. I remember yeah, like, where ah. it was headed, and was like, oh yeah, this was a funny joke. Yeah. Pretty lame talent show. Man. Hmm. You guys remember talent shows from school? Did you, did you guys ever participate in talent I don't, shows? I don't. Mm -mm. I, I I don't think I was ever a part of any talent show. Huh. I don't think we even had them. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Just plays. No, plays or remember. Our yeah, shows. plays. Did you, what about you? I didn't know. So I didn't have any talent shows per se around the community or at school, but uh -huh. I did go to talent expos. All right, and What's these expos, that? they were like a weekend long. At a you know a local hotel or something like did one in like Texas and you know, and Kansas City and you would go and you would have your song prepared, you'd have your little I guess they're more like pageants. Uh -oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about beauty pageants? Beauty pageants? You'd no, no, have your no, little no, 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 no. your little bathing suit no, 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 no. routine. <laughs> sorry, I boo -boo. first did I She's first like, did boo -boo. pageants, but this was a talent expo where I just had to have like a song <laughs> and like you yeah. know. A monologue and like oh. this and that kind of a thing. Turns out, you know, I didn't really place anywhere. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. That. I mean, it was okay. I, I wasn't <laughs> even the type yet, though, that was like very extroverted. Like, I, I yeah. just wasn't. I actually yeah. wasn't that extroverted a kid when I was like zero to 12. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, I just remember those just being like just this whirlwind it's just like holy shit yeah. um did you say you did pageants before that oh yeah I'm you did i mean well, not you not did either. honey boo boo kitty pageants yes i did wow yes i did do you have any images from those I somewhere will, somewhere i will absolutely bring them and then we can upload some of them but we must yeah that obnoxious makeup you like did all that yeah, i mean big oh, hair no. big, big hair. hair yeah yep I, there were some girls that were very pageant and then there were me and my mom who were like you know pageant adjacent do you know what I mean? This is awesome. But it was great. We had like the the little dress that you wore. We did the little workout wear. We did the little like oh, that's song cool. dance. I mean, but, uh, well, uh, I, I love it. It's I so cute. I didn't want to do the ridiculous. pageants either. No, I really just didn't want to do the pageants either. Once yeah. I got up there, I was like, I don't love this. I didn't love being on stage for that. Like the yeah. the talent parts of it were fine, but they're I don't know. weird, aren't and they? And then walking away without strange. the trophy. Yeah. yeah. Even tough. walking away with, with the, the trophy, trophy, yeah, it's weird. The moms oh, yeah. are weird. Oh yeah, the other that's why I'm surprised you weird. did them because your mom's not that really no. like that type of mom. I don't. I, now, was there a community of people? Like, were there other kids from the school? Like that? Was there a community that you had in Lincoln? Okay, uh, the community was my friend Laura at the time, mm -hmm. and she was super gung ho about it, and no. so was her mom. Okay, so like we were not like the same, but it was almost like to hang out with her. I did that. Yeah. Um, like, oh, we yeah. can. Lindsay can do yeah, that. It was never Who something that I was like, oh my god, the pageants tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like half the girls that are in those pageants aren't like, yay. No. Yeah. They're like. What, mom? <laughs> what? <laughs> Smile? There's oh, a ton no. of parent pleasing that happens yeah. there. It's freaky, dude. It's wild. It's freaky. I mean, in child actors, that's already freaky. But I mean, the the, the pageant life, I, it's just because I haven't been there. It just seems strange. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so no, my, well, to my best friend Laura's mom, when I came off the stage and I was just like, I was kind of just like, whatever. And she goes, Lindsay, that girl in your category is beating you in smile, beating you in smile. Okay. You need to figure it out. And at that point, I was like, this is not for me. Ooh. I don't want to be here. She's beating, beating you in smile. smile. Give me some drugs, Karen. Like, thank wow. you. Wow. I was just like, gosh. Beating like, you in and smile? smile? Yeah. Like that was the whole category, just yeah. smile. Well, it was your walk and your smile. Oh, she's Dude. beating you See, in smile. No, so you're winning is, in walk. Okay, but she's beating, beating me in smile. <laughs> but her face on my body, there's the campaign. Dang. <laughs> this is <laughs> freaky, dude. It's that's, sad. That's it's, a freaky world. Yeah. Because acting gets it gets it enough. We're all, I think, lucky. Our parents are not yeah. what are referred to as stage parents, which are the horror stories we're hearing come from kids who had parents who were stage parents. Yeah, willing it, to do whatever for it, their fame. Yeah. yeah, it comes in a lot of different boxes. It looks a lot of different ways, but the stage parent is the parent who wants it m more for the kid than the kid does. They want it for their own reasons. Mm -hmm. They they fuck up the kids' money. Like there's there's all sorts of ways it plays itself out. They get competitive in a way that uh, the the adults, the, the stage parents, get competitive with other kids in a way no adult should ever talk to mm -hmm. a kid. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's some freaky shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 
You survived it, though. I did. Yeah. I did. Better person for it, and I made a lot of connections that actually brought me out here yeah, through okay, that. Yeah. So it go. was a good situation in the end. It really, yeah. it was good. As sort of, you know, questionable pageants are, I still would love to see little Lindsay. A <laughs> photo of little pageant Lindsay. I have a little Aww. portfolio, dude. I bet I you do. do. And the dresses they make you. I'm like, are these sir. little child brides? Like, what's happening here? It's weird. It's They're, 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 they're the white, they're the biggest, most beautiful dress you've ever I'm like, what? What am I wearing? Why is this a cultural what thing? What is happening? This is weird. Yeah, I literally look like it's my wedding day. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. Dang, Sad. Who was yeah. the first person to say we're going to put on a pageant about walking and smiling? Strange, man. Human. Just parade these little girls around, work and smile. It's weird, man. The human condition. Are there male beauty pageants that just aren't more the main- mainstream? I'm sure there I'm- are. I would guess so, but I've never heard yeah, of it. Yeah, I've never heard of it. I've never heard of it. Me neither. Well, it's literally a beauty pageant. That's not oh, how that's not how society refers to little boys. Right, do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Is there a little macho man pageant? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the strongest? Just little <laughs> six year old boys <laughs> flexing, oiled and tanned. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> that's great, man. Oh, oh my, my god. I'd like to see it. <laughs> you know those you know those little kids that were just like the little boys that were just like born with muscles. It's ripped, yeah. yeah. What the fuck, man? Yeah. I was I was born with chicken nuggets. You yeah. know? Aww. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Milk yeah. duds for nipples. <laughs> <laughs> this is unfair. Why me? <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had a thing. I had a thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had a I, I had a thing with that. Like I know I know it's uh really like known now or discussed, like uh uh, the body image stuff that's put on women. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also put on men. Like mm-hmm, you also yeah. grow up with a conditioning of like what good is, what ideal yeah. is, what hot is. And like, I know tons of dudes, like it, that doesn't escape anybody. I know no. tons of dudes, including myself, who like going through teenage years had to like realize, oh, I've got like body image stuff that I would prefer not morphia, to have. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it's like, I grew up like, <laughs> like, just like shorter and stockier and like always athletic, but like it doesn't show, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, and yeah. my friends were like two years older than me, so they hit puberty first and mm. they were all like athletes and just like, Yeet! and then there's like little me like hanging out with them and like the girls their age just feeling, you know, yeah. unworthy and insignificant and too yeah. small. And when puberty, when is puberty coming? Yeah. And, uh, and like, so I realized like in my teenage years, like, oh, I got some body stuff, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I don't want that. Yeah. yeah, my body's fine. Mm-hmm. It gets me through the day. I yeah. love it. Yeah. yeah, dude. No, yeah. yeah, I hear you. Yeah, same here, dude. Um, yeah, my my, my brother Nate, <laughs> he's, he was always just super yoked, man, and he always called me fat. <laughs> <laughs> always, every chance he got, he called me fat. <laughs> And so I grew up thinking I was fat. Now, granted, you know, I, I was I went a little heavy on the chicken nuggets, you know. But I wasn't really fat, fat. Mm-hmm. I wasn't as fat as I thought I was. <laughs> I thought I was fat at one point. Yeah. And yeah, it was uh yeah, it was something that I did have to get over. Yeah. Well, what would you say back to Nate when Nate said that to you? Oh, I can still beat your ass though. <laughs> Yeah, it was always that. Yeah, because <laughs> like you're saying, like you had the athleticism. Because yeah, you were athletic. I yeah. remember us playing football. We yeah. were still winning that too. And it's like, no, my, I'm athletic, man. It, it doesn't show, but I, I swear I can catch the hell out of a football. I swear. And it was always just trying to prove that you were athletic. It wasn't fair fact. either, because your brother Nate, like, he's one of those just kind of like born with muscles, yeah. and then got into working out, and your brother yeah, got. More. Fucking yeah. yoked at a certain Super point. Yoked, Nate bro. was a, and he's disciplined. He can like. Say, oh, I'm not having any oil. I'm gonna just open this, crack this egg, and just <laughs> suck the yolk out of it. So, yeah, he's disciplined in that. Yeah, he's dude. Good. He's I, good. Man, sometimes it's your family, though, huh? Oh yeah, they would <laughs> I do can't it, believe bro. It was they your would do it whenever he wanted to pick me up. <laughs> hey, Dan, you're fucking fat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's, oh, it's, it's life, man. It's, it's brutal. You can't out let this stuff bring you down, mm-hmm. though, guys. No, you yeah. can't. And like, man, <laughs> just like whatever you got with your body, like, yeah, take care of it. But like, thank you, body. I you know, know. Yeah, like, our bodies are so good to us. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're I, blessed. Blessed. I don't like that. Any of us, I don't like when I realized, oh shit, I, and we all have it. I look in the mirror sometimes and like whatever that thing is that you don't like, like I don't like that self-loathing, unconscious self-loathing, like looking in the mirror and going like, no, that's not good enough, and that's not good enough, mm-hmm. and that's not good And we all yeah. have it, man. Yeah. We all have it. Everybody's got it. 
we didn't have like Instagram back then when we were coming up either. Thank goodness. So I'm, yeah, that would have been rough. That would have been so rough, man. I don't know how these kids these days are doing it because you're constantly taking pictures of yourself, you know, from this angle. Oh, the rolls. Oh, from this angle. Oh, fuck. Bro, you would have been screwed. I would have been Because if your brother was giving it to you. And then get on social media. Oh, look at this fat guy. <laughs> How many chins is that? Oh, yeah. No, the internet eats people alive, man. Oh, it's brutal. Oh. I pray for these youth, man. I really do. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine being in middle school or high school with Instagram or TikTok and just seeing no. whatever, seeing all and getting all the comments. Like, it's I couldn't so imagine. Amplified. Or getting no comments. Getting no comments. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough one. Just oh. feeling irrelevant because no one's on your inst. Like, fuck, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't Growing matter. up was hard enough without yeah. social media. Yeah. Yep. When I had my drug problem and I was like in between working on stuff, it, you know, I would never have to like uh, address my relationship with food because I was, I was like, oh, I could always just go get more Adderall. Do you know what I mean? And like be okay with it. So it was really hard. And I especially, I got basically let go from Pretty Little Liars in season five um, because of the weight that I had lost. And it was mm. really an embarrassing uh, embarrassing thing like I, I didn't look good too skinny and then you know then when I put start to put the weight back on I couldn't handle it being too heavy so it kind of like played into this dumb cycle um whereas now you know it's uh you are you look like what you look like yeah. you know what I mean yeah. like there are things that I enjoy so much about my body now that they can't put words to even though like like before it was traditionally a little bit more you know like I don't know thin or what it should be or what or whatever looks good on camera so that any angle looks good on you, you know? Mm. And getting used to like, oh, okay, we all got the little concave thing. Like mm. everything's rolling a little bit. And in, yeah, for the for the mental place I'm in now is I'm I'm so much happier, but that really ruled. I mean, I really think that kept me in using was mm. just, you know, not not dealing with that. And then when I need to go back to set, it's like, oh, what do I do? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh no. It was so bad. I got called into the Pretty Little Liars creator's office. Oh, I don't even know why. Hmm. Um, and she was just like, So we're going to let you go. Mm -hmm. She's like, It's not because you're acting. She's like, But do you have anybody to talk to? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, um, No, you know? Mm -hmm. And she's like, We'll find somebody, and we have to let you go for now. And it was really sweet because they um, they brought me back in season seven, mm. you know. And it was like it was so like lovely of that writing team to to see that that relationship and that character out. But um, that was that was rough. Yeah, yeah. Being told, hey, we got to let you go, and with care, with so much care. Yeah, it's like hey, I it was, care about yeah. you as a person, mm -hmm. but it's not. Yeah, it can't work here anymore. And um, yeah, Shay was like, we went to the same nutritionist for a while. She was bringing me like protein powder. She's like, girl. <laughs> and it was, yeah, it was awful. Mm. It was awful. That's so rough, yeah. man. Like, I'm so happy with how you're doing. It's right? so fucking amazing. Yeah, it. the fact that just like, man, I, yeah, I just gave away everything I cared about, you know? Yeah. And um, yeah. I just don't know that I've ever gotten back to the point in my career that I was before that that talk, that yeah. meeting, or that whole season of of using, you know. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, it's a it's a fucking lot, dude. It's a fucking lot. You're caring about your body can make you go in all different directions, and yeah. you know, from plastic surgery to drugs to oh, yeah. withholding to any kind of shit, you know. Yeah. Comp competitive, like comparing com competition, like oh. Yeah. Well, and like not being able to. Hold, not being able to hold or face the issue is oh. then it comes out in all the other ways. Like you're actually acting out this issue, but because you don't want to touch it, it's now it's hole. acting out in all this other shit when really the heart of it's here and you just kind of kind of face, integrate, whatever the yep. work is there. Yep. But yeah, man. Oh. And it, yeah. yeah, no, go no, ahead. no, 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 it was, it was just one of the most, they, they did me so right, like bringing me back for season seven and just letting me mm. say goodbye. Like, that's so nice. I will just never forget that writers room. I know exactly who, like Joe Doherty. And, um, so yeah, just that whole ride, I'm starting to be able to like step away from it more and forgive and appreciate and accept. But mm. that was, you know, a wild time and it kind of brought me here to where I am now 
And for yeah. better, for worse, whatever happens in the future, like this is the only life that I can be living, you know, yeah. like for whatever professional success was in the past. It, it's not it's not comparing to the Friday nights I can sit and enjoy a movie on my couch. Dude, you that know, part. That part. so dude, it's shit, so, man. And like, listen, so I know so many audience members are going to like relate to that. Like a lot of people don't make it through this this. I mean, you had like the child actor transition to make it through, but it happens to kids people. no matter what. It happens yeah. to people no matter what. Industry or background. Actually landing in your adulthood, getting through whatever fucked up shit you started with, whatever cards you were dealt mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever hangups you picked up, like a lot of people, it's hard to get through to that place where you actually, and there's no finish line in your life, no, but just right. get through to that adulthood where you're like, okay, I'm, I'm on my feet and I can actually like breathe and take life on a little bit. Like it's hard, oh. man. It's, it's hard. It's fucking complicated. Yeah. You're doing great. Oh, I love you. Dude. And right Absolutely. in time for y'all to resurge. Love you guys That's and serious. resurge in my life. Really yeah. good. Shit, man. Good shit. I gotta watch Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> <laughs> right? You only gotta watch the first episodes, which are funny because it's like, what? Mm -hmm. Bob, oh, yeah, Bob, they Bob, gave you like a little Bob. Bob. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Were you on it from the very beginning? Yeah. Wow. For, it was like a six year recurring wow. thing on there. Yeah. And then the, the episode that I was, where, where they were like, okay, they called me into their office and that happened. And then, then we had to shoot the episode where I left. I. I use that that show as like a, a therapy session every time I went in. I cried harder there than I did in all that whole six years by myself. Like mm. I cry, I my everything went into page. Mm. And um, so that scene was just us saying goodbye at the airport and I just, I affected Shay so much in a way that like, like we grew so much as actors between action and cut. And then we, I mean, I don't think, I mean the makeup lady came up to me, she goes, I. I don't think they were expecting you to cry this much. Your oh, wow. your lashes, your and she <laughs> your and I couldn't even talk to her. We would, we would do this, and then we would go like that when the thing was over. And then finally, when it was done, we just hugged each other and like let it let it be what it was. But my God, I I just I'm so appreciative for that set and for that character and for Shay and for for those people who brought me back. It was a great and crazy and scary and sad, wonderful, tragic ride. Yeah. And yeah, dude, so cool. Yeah. I like, uh, I, I, did you know the cast? Like, I like Lucy, knew, right? I knew Lucy and Ashley Benz. I haven't seen them in a long time, but like, I knew them before Pretty Little Liars. It was cool to see like all of you yeah, on I know, it. right? Yeah. yeah. It's so cool how you guys both got on shows after Ned's and I never did. <laughs> 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 no. You fucks. What's <laughs> <laughs> your movies though? You had Prankster, you had Shredder Man. <laughs> oh, oh don't, don't talk about it. Oh. Prank, Wait, prankster was so bad. And <laughs> where's the money? You told me that you you told me that you manifested that. Remember, you were like, I want to be working on a project. I want it to be like in Mexico or abroad or something. No, that not where's the money. That was I break for Gringos. That one I did oh. manifest, but it didn't oh, yeah. do anything, and no one. Saw it. Wow. But you had a good but time though. They were flying time. you out to parties amazing and crap. Time. That was so yeah. lit. I was I was a little jelly. I was like, yo, he's yeah. up, man. Sick. It, I, I was living it. It, yeah. it was sad after it, it was a good lesson moving forward in my life and career. Like the experience on the movie was so good that and I really liked the script and, and really believed we were making something good. And I think we did make something good, but just the final outcome, it mm -hmm. just didn't they didn't get the good distribution, it didn't yeah. go anywhere. Mm. And that really like hurt after four years of work. It was like a long process making wow. it. And, I, and then like critics in Mexico and the US just fucking shat on it. It was a spring break genre comedy. Like, mm. and within the genre, I'm like, this does the genre well. Yeah. The, the reviews I read, like weren't taking it for the genre it is. Like it, it, it was so weird. They were like, yeah this fucking piece of shit. I'm Dang. like, uh, it, it was devastating. It, yeah. it hurt. It was devastating. Devastating, ha 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 ha. That's great. Wow. So yeah, they're like judging oh you up against gosh. the color purple and yes. all these other <laughs> prolific yes. films. And I was like, guys, take it for what it is. It's just like a silly booby comedy, you know? Dang. Even put it against Spring Breakers, like. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. But no, they weren't. And yeah, I got shot on. Well, the movie got shot on. Um, but I still loved it. It's called Sundown, I think is what it ended up being called. It should have stayed the original name, which is I Break for Gringos. Uh, but great experience. Like life-changing changing experience. Yeah. yeah. Lit. And that's yeah. what matters sometimes. Like 
the end product, you know, that's its, it's, its own thing. But the experience, mm, like, you that's know, me, going process through. product, my friend. Process, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, you do talk about that. Th- that's what it taught me, which was nice. Like, it had to hurt, but it's because I had. I needed it. I wanted it. I wanted it to be like my first movie that shows people I can lead a movie yeah. that's yeah. out there and people are actually seeing and enjoying. And it didn't do any of that and then got shot on. But it did teach me that thing of like, yeah. man, enjoy the ride. Don't yeah. put an yeah. expectation on the final product. I have no yeah. control over that or yeah. how it's received. Right. Fuck right. it. Right. Right. Yeah. Enjoy my time with the people. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. One one time Lindsay sent me this uh this okay. BDSM quiz. Oh, okay. And this was actually fascinating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Lindsay like sent me this like hundred and fifty question. You have to take this. I gotta take it. This yeah. giant like BDSM just just fetish like, world what's questionnaire. Your yeah, where what's do you kink? land mm-hmm. on the fetish spectrum? Where did you land? He was vanilla. I'm pretty vanilla. Oh, um, I, I was me a, too. I like things. Plain. I was a yeah. brat. I needed oh, a, a brat tamer. Oh. So, yes, for those of you who don't know, there is an entire in a rope spectrum bunny. of, <laughs> bunny, okay. and some of you out there already know this, there's an entire spectrum of sort of uh, sexual roles and enjoyment and like non-shamed stuff. Just here's, here's the my role, kink. here's your kink, here's what you'd like. And this questionnaire actually was very thorough. Right. And really got in there yeah. with some shit. No, it, kinda, it did. It kind of nailed me correctly. It, it wasn't just vanilla, but I'm mostly vanilla. I, wanna, I don't get into I want to meet shit. somebody who went in on those like BDSM parts. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who was like, no, I would give up my regular job in life for a, my, the BDSM lifestyle of my dreams. Like Damn. those were yeah, the no, questions. No, some of the questions were like, <laughs> were like, yeah, this? well, like, yeah, would you give up everything to have your partner tell you how to live every aspect of your life? <laughs> and some people are like, yes, <laughs> been there, doing that, doing that. Hey, I mean, hey. but I get. I get where it can, you know, create some spiciness. Yeah, it some, also, I think, can create some other problems in other right, areas of your life. Right. But I think about, sometimes yeah. if you're turning to kink to escape and not to enhance, Live, yeah. expand. Right. So that's what I'm saying. Like, like, so, so you're saying that kink is not just tied to what you do sexually or yeah. in the bed. Yeah, no, 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 it's no, a no. lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. It's not just tied to the bed. Mm-mm. Like, it's tied to like just part. Tied to the bed, but then partner, partner to the relationship. Bed. <laughs> it's it's tied to partner relationships, not just sex, yeah. like, but just like submissive, yeah, roles, dominant dumb, roles. Yeah. Oh, roles. That's so interesting, man. You know, like the the guy, yesterday. the guys who like um like like tipping, <laughs> the guys who like tipping, you know, like a stranger, a woman they've never met, to like insult them. Yeah, oh, you know yeah. what I mean. Yeah, do you like to be insulted? Yeah, you, you, like... you disgusting piggy boy, and and they're like hundred dollars, yeah, hundred dollars. Yep. 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 You fucking no one will ever touch you. You fucking weird you? little gremlin, and they're like, yes. Some of the foot people do that. Hmm. Okay, some of the foot people are very into being um, just. Degraded, being said, oh, you're a and you know you're this a dirty, how? stinky little boy. And you boy. know this how? Well, uh, <laughs> I've sent somebody an NDA to do one. <laughs> oh, wow. But nothing inappropriate, nothing what, disgusting. What do you, what do you gonna... say to them? Can you, can you tell our What listeners? do I say to them? I say, um... Make it hurt. <laughs> no, I just say, you, you want to suck on my toes? You disgusting boy. You could never oh. suck on these toes. Oh. Damn. Right? It did a little something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's all the while your feet are in their face, right? Oh, yep. no, okay. Oh, they're like up yeah. in the camera and you're yep. like, you yep. never Where's could. Ever. No, no. Yep. Rolling the mud, the you little back. pig. Yep. <laughs> and you said, no. You'll never see these toes. No, bad boy. <laughs> full free? <laughs> no, not full free tonight. Not tonight. Oh yeah, I could be a sex operator, but I mean, one of those that would like make the world a brighter place, yeah. which I think most of them do. Yeah. To be really honest. Yeah. yeah. I think when it's, you have the barrier of the phone, when you're like never meeting, I mean, it's nice. Do your thing over right? there. I'll yeah. do my thing here. 100. Somehow we're connecting in the yeah. ether, and you pay me, yeah. and you get your, yeah, your, your little happy. piggy rocks Absolutely. off, you know? Absolutely. Woo! Wait, no, no. Do you get to see them how they're experiencing it? No, and I wouldn't want that. You wouldn't want to, because I'm sure they're probably. I have gotten tipped handsomely, oh. though. Oh, uh huh. Like more than their prize for the thing, mm-hmm. because of how lovely my content is. <laughs> oh, nice guys. Well, where do they sign up? <gasps> um, my cameo, cameo me. Oof. Nice. <laughs> I hate cameo. Nice. I love cameo. Before we wrap up, someone Uh-oh. on. 
Someone on fucking Cameo. Uh-oh. Someone on fucking Cameo. Got your feet for free? <gasps> Got it. <laughs> gotcha. They, they gave me the right amount of story to just... I, and I kind of knew. I was like, mm, this feels a little like someone trying to get my feet, but they just wrote it right. And I said it in it. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like you're just trying to get me to show your feet. But they wrote it in a way that was innocent enough. And it, it was just this thing. Like, my friend and I have this inside joke. If you can just fucking put your feet in them. And when people ask directly, I'm like, no. But this person worded it in a way, and I'll never fucking do it again. Fan fiction. Where they lied to me. I felt violated. They lied to me, and they got me to put my fucking feet in the cameo. And next thing I know, I'm getting DMs from people who are like, saw your feet on the wiki boards. Will you send me some feet? And I'm like... That son of a bitch lied to me. All Damn. you need is that one video, baby, to go viral. Damn. That one but video. But that's not consent, you fuck. <laughs> Dang. Hey. That's not consent. They lied. They tricked me into it. What's yeah. you, what's I put felt, it on that internet, I felt violated. Damn. And I have gorgeous feet. You do. Damn. I got a high arch. I got dancer's feet. So I'll how, try to get some lo- B-roll of his feet. Yeah, get some B-roll. Yes. And yours too. I'm not no, even no, sure no, those are feet. I told you, Peg likes no feet. Peg just Peg just Daniel has <laughs> never taken <laughs> off his <laughs> shoes <laughs> ever. ever. I've not never seen I've never seen him in socks. Daniel swims in sneakers. Yeah, for sure, for sure. No, we had one Um, one thing we did. Was it not Kids' Choice Awards? We were hosting something, and we had to be by a pool. And I remember I'm like walking around with my feet in my sandals like this. <laughs> gripping, gripping I'm, I'm putting the toenails up under. I'm just those sandals. I'm like, you're not seeing these toes. Daniel's got so stuff on no. his feet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, anyway, yeah. whoever you are out there, you know who you are. You lied to me, and I don't appreciate it. Come Dang. over to my cameo. Yeah, you're, you're not going to Lindsay will just problem. give them to you, okay? Yeah. You and don't f- got to take nothing. Here. And, and for me, maybe I would, but you got to come correct. You got to ask correct, her. Correct, right? A classy boy. <sighs> anyway, um, yeah. you guys got a tip from this episode? This what was show. the episode? <laughs> <laughs> or this or this whole conversation. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, it yeah. doesn't have to uh, be about the show. Or ta- yes. whatever. Don't take for granted what you have if you can avoid it. But I didn't even know what I had until I took it for granted. So sometimes mm. just know that even if you're in the middle of that cycle, there there's a place for you. You're going to come out of the washing machine at some point. So, mm. yeah, just try to stay grateful. Nice. That's That's beautiful. That's honest. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, it's hard to hard to go after that. But my tip will be, uh, hey, uh, appreciate everyone's talent and just appreciate their personhood because we're all unique in our own special ways. Send love. Leave with love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't lie to get your kink met. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Consent requires consent. You got to know what they're signing up. Like, meet, meet your kinks with your kinks, don't don't lie to get your kink. Wow. And I'm not here to kink shame, you know? Like, have your kink, but just don't don't be weird about it, you know? Like, don't be weird I, I, about I'll it. Give my kink. Don't be weird about it. I'll give you my feet for free. That's the episode. What? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Beep. They just came. They all, all right. just came. That's the episode. Dang. Oh. Hey, nice hey. episode, hey. guys. Hey. Great Woo. job. Hey. Thank you for watching. Thank we love guys. making this podcast. Yes. Thank you to our patrons who make our podcast possible. Thank you yes. for supporting us. Yes. These are our super, our super friends. friends. Yes. Top tier patrons, thank mm-hmm. you for showing up. Yes. You get your you, name scrolled on our video. You are literally helping us make like our dream come true, the yes. dream of this podcast, yes. keeping it like, you keeping know, it alive. you're helping yeah. us sustain stay, stay this. Staying in the flow of, yes. you know, this cool energy. And you so. viewers at home, you can be one of our super friends. Yeah, go check out our Get Patreon, patreon.com right slash Ned's Pod. We got different tiers. We do a bunch of BTS live streams. It's a it's a crazy good time. And get your name put. And we can also make gold plaques that will settle down. You. Settle down. Settle That's down. A lot. We're not we're not manufacturing gold plaques. You know what time it is. Oh, it's time what time is oh, it? Oh, you know what time it is. The Super s- Friends dance. Oh, Super, Super Friends, friends dance. dance. Oh. Super Friends dance. How do you do it Woo! with the oh, you turn dance. and you pull? Super Friends dance. Yeah. Super Friends dance. It's good. Thanks, uh, love you. Thanks for being here. Be here next week. Subscribe, like, comment, share. We love you. Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. If you guys want some clips from the show, go on over to Podco's YouTube channel. And you can also support our Patreon for more weekly bonus content. You guys know you want to see it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.